Just weeks before the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, an Amherst pro-life medical office experienced a firebombing and the words Jane's Revenge spray painted on the side of their building. Tonight, we have an update on their operations. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello again, I'm Scott Levin. On Monday, Compass Care will reopen after a lot of renovations. Twin your side's Kelly Dudzik joins us in the studio with an update. Kelly? Hi, Scott and Mary Alice. After just 52 days, Compass Care will reopen on Monday and break ground on a new telehealth facility. Crews are still working on the building today, finishing touches so it can reopen on Monday. Someone set fire to the pro-life medical facility in the overnight hours of June 7th, causing extensive damage, but it did not cause a disruption in services. Other organizations helped Compass Care and it was able to send people to its Rochester office. We do know that in the weeks leading up to the fire, Amherst police had already increased patrols. This was after the Roe versus Wade decision was leaked in draft form and before the Supreme Court overturned it. Today, the CEO told me they have security measures in place and he's thankful to reopen quickly. Local law enforcement, Amherst Police Department have been doing a great job communicating with us, uh, keeping us surprised, uh, following all the leads. And uh, they're supposedly working with the FBI and other federal law enforcement agencies. Uh, so, you know, we're hoping that they're, they're going to get some arrests here pretty soon. I contacted both Amherst police and the FBI today for an update on the arson investigation. I've not heard back from police, but a spokesperson for the FBI told me, quote, the FBI's policy is to neither confirm nor deny if we are conducting an investigation. Now, CEO Jim Harden says he was told that police will either give an update themselves on Monday at the reopening or they're going to give him a statement to read to everybody. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.